the uh, the team that was prepared to play uh, this week um, looked a lot different than the team that we had out there. Uh, it was it was an, kind of an incredible week. Um, Start with T.J. Lang at the end of last week with a with his MCL. And he's going to be fine, but we expected to have him maybe start. And then um, and it was really tragic with what happened with Taj because of having those shoulders last year. This is a different injury. It is a different injury. Um, we think we'll get him back quicker than we did before. There's, we don't think there's going to have surgery. Um, it's not that I stayed at a Holiday Express last night. I'm not a doctor. But uh, this is what I've been told based on the you know, MRI and the examination. And Dr. Dr. Uh, uh, Andrews is going to look at him tomorrow with the football game, so we'll know more definitively. Um, Bryce Barnes back tightened up a little bit this week, didn't practice much. And obviously, Dan Gerald, that process isn't finished. Those are four guards that would be out there. And so what happens? All of a sudden, Zach Allison has got to play. And when. Uh, when I watched Zach play at Pelham High School last year, I, I saw something in him that I, I saw a little swag. I saw I saw those goalie locks and I saw a little Monty Bass in him, a little sunshine. He did a really nice job. And uh, seven assists, you know, to lead us in assists, it's pretty good for a walk-on freshman. Um, and um, New Williams was probably not going to be in the rotation had we been healthy. Um, and you know he, he obviously can shoot the basketball. The fact that they played a lot of zone, I think, helped. Um, and I thought Sim, once again, having his double double, I think you can see that he's in better shape. He's moving well, and he missed two or three really easy ones early. Otherwise, he has uh, you know uh, an even bigger night. Um, so um, uh, this will be from a standpoint of talent. Uh, the weakest opponent that we'll face this year. Um, they were well coached and they ran Princeton. The stuff they ran was hard to guard. And uh, and so it, it exposed them to some things. We got some things to work on, but you know, overall I think it was uh, it was a good first effort. Not to draw too many conclusions, but does new now challenge for the starting spot because Jordan, while he's your leading returning three point shooter, is not the most effective three point shooter, had a rough night tonight. So does right. new push for that now? I think new pushes for playing time, he does. Um, it's just that Taj, TJ Lang, and Bryce Brown, and Angel all kind of play those positions. So um, he's got to beat those four guys. Jordan Granger played the position he played tonight for whatever minutes he played. He played 17 minutes. That, he played the three. He started playing the three two days ago and has never played it before. So. He was out there, and he really filled a, a hole for us. So, yeah, it was great to see New do what he does, because you could see his athleticism, you could see his ability to jump out of the gym, you could see his ability to make shots. It was a good first opponent for him. It was a good first opponent for Zach to be able to play, play well, feel good about themselves. But it's going to get tougher from this point forward. Bruce, was the whole thing of having Jordan start over, maybe New, was just that, I mean, Jordan's more just serious guy? It. Yeah, just just senior. We talked about that. And just give the nod to the senior, and that's why we did it. At least with Kareem, not many assists tonight. Was the objective kind of more ball movement from the wings to the inside? Uh, Kareem is going to play both on and off the ball. And what's interesting is because um, he can score, and um, uh, I don't want him to have to full time run the team. And so one of the calls that we made was Zach Allison playing as much as he did. And Zach played 24 minutes. That's a lot of minutes. Part of that was so that Kareem could play off the ball. Now, when TJ Dunnans got in foul trouble and wasn't able to play, that put Zach on the floor more. So I don't know. I don't think Kareem will lead us in assists. I think that could be from Taj. That could be from TJ Dunnans. It was from Zach Allison tonight. Kareem could lead us in scoring often because he can really score. And he had no turnovers tonight, which was really good. Horace and Dunnans each with four fouls pretty early. Did that? Does that kind of? Is that your big takeaway as far as something to work on or improve on his playing? Yeah, with fouls? he bounces around. You know, you can see him bounce around out there, and um, he, he he makes a lot happen. Um, but he, um, you know, a lot of those fouls were just because he wasn't in the right places and because he bounces around a lot. You know, 
um, he's got a lot to learn, but he's got he uh, he was he did some thing. He had a couple rebounds and a couple inside plays that we haven't had anybody here at Auburn do anything like that in a few years. So he's going to get better. He's a nice a nice player. I mean, look, with the exception of the three, you know, the three seniors, Simeon, Tyler, and, and Jordan. This was Kareem's first college basketball game in two years. T.J. Dunnan's first Division I college basketball game. Horace Spence's first college game. Jonathan Walker is a track guy. First college game. Zach Allison, first college game. Devin's a KG vet. Cole, the both, you know, in New William. A lot of, lot of new guys out there.